Hey everyone, my name is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and today I'm going to be talking about how to save data on Android devices. Now, while some of us may have been grandfathered into unlimited plans from years ago, the majority of us still have to deal with the stinginess of large mobile carriers limiting how much data we can access, while at the same time making, of hundred, making hundreds of dollars off of us each year. Thankfully, there are plenty of ways to reduce your data on your smartphone, ensuring that you don't go too far over your limits and have to pay insane fees or have your data use capped. The first way to save data use on Android is to restrict app background data. Many apps refresh when you're not using them, ensuring that when you do return to these apps, they, they're able to offer up-to-date and refreshed information. Of course, there is a drawback. Background refreshes use up quite a bit of data, data which could be saved when you may not be using that app that much anyway. To restrict background apps in general, you can head to Settings, Data Use, Restrict Background Data. Or, alternatively, you can restrict data use on an app-by-app -app basis by heading to Settings, apps, and then pressing on the app you want to restrict, and pressing restrict app background data. The next way you can save data is by disabling app auto updates. This is another process that happens in the background, and that's fine when you're on a Wi-Fi network, but when you're on a cellular network, you don't want to be downloading updates for large mobile games. Restricting when apps auto update is one of the easiest ways to save data. To ensure that apps aren't updating on their own when you're connected to a cellular network, head to the Google Play Store, then go to Settings, where you will see an option for app auto-updates. From here, you can choose to either not auto-update apps, auto-update apps at any time, or only auto-update apps from Wi-Fi. The best option I've found is to only auto-update apps over Wi-Fi, ensuring that your apps update themselves, but at no extra charge to you. Alternatively, you can choose to never auto-update and you can update your apps manually. The third way to save data is to download music to your device. Music streaming services are great, especially if you're a music lover. However, when you're streaming music on a cellular network, they can take up quite a lot of data. Most major music streaming services offer ways to download playlists to the user's device, basically meaning that the user can download their favorite music to their device over Wi-Fi and then not have to worry about streaming it later. The way to do this varies widely depending on which streaming service you use, but on Google Play Music it's very easy. Simply head to the app and go to the playlist you want to download, then press on the pin button, which will download the, that music to your device. The next way to save data on your device is to limit apps that use a lot of data. Sometimes you're going to have to monitor apps on an app by app basis, identifying which apps are using the most data. While in some cases you might want to go back to the first tip and restrict app background updates, in some cases you might want to simply delete the app altogether. To check how much data apps are using, go to the settings and then go to data usage, where you will see an app by app list of how much data is being used. Then you can decide whether or not apps are worth keeping, ideally cutting back on your data use in general. The fifth and final way to save data on an Android device is to compress pages on Chrome. If you're a web junkie, Google Chrome is probably pretty high up on the app list of apps that take up a lot of data, but you most likely don't want to get rid of the app because as your default web browser, it would seriously hinder how you use your mobile device. Thankfully, there are ways of reducing how much data Chrome takes up. Compressing web pages on Chrome may make web pages load a little slower, but it will, in turn, ensure that much less data is being used. What's more is the fact that it only slows things down a little, and it's very easy to get used to. To compress Chrome web pages, simply head to Chrome, then tap Settings, and go down to Data Saver, turning the feature on, and a lot of data will be saved. Thanks again for watching. My name is Christian DeLupa, here for PC Mac, and we'll see you next time.